Does your CO2 laser not work like it did when you first got it? Or maybe you still don't think you're getting the right power out of it that you should. Well, something that is often overlooked but honestly required maintenance is checking your mirror alignment. It's not that hard of a task. It's honestly pretty easy to do. And once you learn how to do it, it should only take you maybe five to 10 minutes when you start. And the first time shouldn't take more than maybe 15 or 20 minutes. We're gonna go through that today on this Monport K40 right here and align all of the mirrors. Now, the last I checked, about a month and a half or two months ago, my mirrors were aligned and well, but it never hurts to verify even when you think they're lined up well. Again, it doesn't take very long and there's only three mirrors that we're gonna really be taking a look at. Now that I've got my air assist head on there, it is something that I really should be taking a look at anyway. So, with all that said, Let's go ahead and get our mirrors aligned with our Monport K40. Okay, so as you can see, I've kind of got my laser turned a little bit different than I normally do. I have my chiller turned on so that way it can get my uh, laser tube cool since we are going to be running the laser and we are gonna have to start with the laser completely off. So just for safety, Keep the laser off to begin with and you're going to take a piece of masking tape and so you want your piece of masking tape to maybe be about this big it, it really doesn't matter and then you're going to go to the back of the laser and this is why we want the laser to be off this is going to be the easiest and the hardest to align and, and i say that because it's the hardest since you have the laser kind of coming in two places. And uh, it also kind of works like the front one. So we're gonna want to push all the way around so that way we have a good and defined area of where this circle is. And now we're gonna wanna turn the laser on. We wanna close this front hatch. I'm gonna leave the, the back hatch open, standing away from it just so the camera can see it. We're gonna use our test button up here at about 50% to fire just for a second. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the laser back off. And once everything shuts down, we are now safe to come back here. And what we want to look for is whether or not the laser is hitting at the center of this hole. Okay, so as you can see there, that's pretty close to dead center of that lens. Now, something you might want to consider doing is taking a microfiber cloth like this, spraying a little bit of cleaner on it, and with the laser off again, just coming back here and cleaning this mirror. You might leave a little bit of residue from the tape, uh, but doing this will clean that mirror right up, and that looks great. So now that we're going to align this front mirror, this is mirror two. And so with the alignment of mirror two, we're going to do very much the same as we did with mirror one to start with. We're going to put the tape over it, press it down, but we're going to start by moving our mirror all the way back. Now we wanna do that because since this mirror can move, we want to make sure that it is aligned at the back point, and then we want to move it up to the front point. Make sure that it is aligned there as well. So we'll start with the back, then we'll move to the front, and we'll see how the alignment is. You will close it, turn it on, and go test. Turn it off. And now we can take a look. As you can see, that's pretty dead center. And now we will check the front. So we're gonna move it up to as far forward as we can. Turn it on, close it, and test. Turn it off. Now the reason that I did not change the tape is because I wanted to see if it hit basically in the same spot. And the easiest way for me to test that is to leave the tape on there. And we did. We hit very much in the same spot. There is not two dots on there, so we only have one. 
And that's really what we're wanting to see. Now for the final alignment that we're going to test. And once we test this, I will then show you how to fix the alignment. The final alignment is going to be on the laser head itself. So we're going to again, get a piece of masking tape. We're gonna take that masking tape. We're gonna put it right here. Now we want to really press it in again. So you can see me pressing that in around there. And so we will take in this head. Now we want to actually put into all four corners of the machine. So we want to test it close right here at the back, far this corner and then this corner. So we want to test it at all four corners. And what we're looking for is a consistent hole. So a consistent hole. So we're going to go ahead and close, turn on the laser and test. And then we're going to turn off the laser. We're going to open up the lid and we are actually a little bit high. So I'm going to move this away and bring you in here to see. So you can see on there that we are a little bit high. We're up at the top end of this hole. So that means that on this mirror, we are not hitting it in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and work on aligning mirror two. Now, before we start aligning anything, I want to talk about how you would align stuff for the first mirror, mirror one, that's one that's back here. Uh, you can't really see it now with how we've got the laser situated, but the first mirror that we aligned, you would actually be moving the tube and no mirrors if that needed to be changed. When we were looking at this mirror up here, we would be aligning and changing mirror one. And we do that with these screws that are on the back of it. And so from there, now that we're going to be working on the laser head, when we're working on the beam coming into the laser head, we're going to be moving this mirror right here. So we do that by using these screws and I'm going to go ahead and pull this hot glue. This hot glue comes from the factory to help keep things in position, but we don't need that in there because we're going to be changing where it hits. So with where we saw that hit when we were over here, we want to bring that down a little bit. And so to do that, we want to loosen this bottom screw and we want to tighten this top screw just a little bit. And so now with that done, we're going to turn the laser back on close our lid, make sure that we are in position and test. We have moved our laser a little bit. We're going to now, and right now it's okay to leave this on. So we're going to loosen this some more, tighten that a little bit more test. And now we're actually walking in a little bit different. So I'm going to swap this out, turn the laser off, swap this tape over. So that way we have a new piece that we're looking at. And now we're going to see exactly where we're landing. Cause it got a little, little blurry there with how many lines there was. And so now we are much closer to the center. We are now going to tighten this top one a little bit and that will move the laser over a little bit and that should help us center right up. And now we are in the center. Just to verify, I'm going to take this tape off. We're going to put a new piece of tape on, turning the laser off in between there. I should have turned that off first. And again, you're really just turning the laser off for safety's sake. So with the laser off, there is less chance or really zero chance of the laser firing when it shouldn't. Um, I have never had my laser fire unless I hit the test button or sent something from the computer and we're unplugged from the computer. So I don't see it happening, but it doesn't hurt to just be safe. Now we will go ahead and turn it back on and test. 
So now with that, we're gonna move this over here. And now you can see that is much more in the center. So that is basically dead center. From here, we're gonna go ahead and move the laser to all four corners. So we'll start by going to this far corner, close the lid, test. And we don't see any different hole. We will now move up to the front corner, close and test. Move it into this corner, close the lid and test. Now at the front, we did see that hole get a little bit bigger, but it's basically in the same hole. And honestly, that is gonna be perfect for this laser. That is more than aimed enough, more than aligned enough. Now that all of your mirrors are aligned and you've verified everything is good to go, you are ready to use your laser. This is something that should be done every few months or anytime you think that the laser just isn't performing its best. I'm excited to now get back to cutting since all of my mirrors are freshly aligned and I am working in tip top shape on my Monport K40. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to like this video if it helped you. If you want to subscribe for more content on the Monport K40, on my Shapoko, or on any other tools in my shop, then you know exactly where that button is down below. Be sure to ring that notification bell as well, so that way you are notified anytime there are future uploads. Be sure to stay tuned as well. We've got more videos on the K40 coming out and also several other content topics that we're going to be covering from a new waste board on the Shapoko to making cutting boards and a whole lot of other project types. I'm really excited for this journey that we're starting here on YouTube and thank you for being among the first people watching this channel. We are right now still under 200 subscribers and I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed or who is subscribing from this video or any time in the future. My wife and I really do appreciate all the support that you've given us so far and I really love making these videos for you. As time goes on, we'll get more comfortable doing it and I'll be more comfortable here on camera and we'll be more comfortable with the different camera angles and have things more set up. Uh, as you can hopefully hear from this, there's better audio in this video. We've got a new microphone in the studio, help with that as well. I'm really excited to see where things take Created Workshop in 2023. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.